Water is our most vital resource. It supports life and life support systems. Over 70% of the planet's surface is covered by water. However, 97.5% of all water on Earth is salt water, leaving only 2.5% as fresh water. Nearly 70% of the fresh water is frozen in the polar ice caps. The remainder is present as soil moisture or lies in deep, inaccessible underground aquifers. This leaves less than 1% of the world's fresh water accessible for direct human use. Water scarcity is a mounting national and worldwide problem. In many regions, water demand has exceeded the reliable supply of surface and renewable groundwater. Efforts to conserve water and make better use of rainwater have increased dramatically in recent years. This new emphasis on controlling water usage has influenced the building and design industries to develop innovative methods of water conservation. The U.S. Green Building Council has established the LEED rating system to help promote buildings that are environmentally responsible. Highland Tank has developed complete systems for rainwater harvesting and gray water reuse. These turnkey hydro-pure and hydro-clear water systems can be incorporated into a new or existing building's design to qualify for valuable LEED credits for water or energy efficiency. Highland Tank's decentralized water systems are the most complete water recycling systems on the market. They are designed and built to suit a project's specific needs. My name is Michael Gauthier. I'm a sales engineer with Highland Tank. Uh, today we're going to uh, review the uh, filtration and disinfection skid at the Handy Middle School. So as the water is pumped from the cistern tank, we throw through, flow through this uh, purple pipe uh, that's, uh, that, that's plumbed to the back portion of the filtration skid. We go through a multimedia filter. Uh, media filters and UV disinfection and any kind of our filtration systems are sized based on flow. Uh, that flow rate is di uh, dictated by the cistern pumps that we have in the outside 20,000 gallon tank. And in this instance, they're 25 gallons a minute. As we flow through the uh, multimedia filter, multimedia filter is rated for 10 microns, so we're going to remove a particle uh, less than or equal to uh, 10 microns. Uh, we then travel through our UV disinfection. Uh, it's an ir irradiation type disinfection, so it basically kills most of the bacteria, the cryptosporidia, giardia that may be present uh, in that water from, the, from anything that may have uh, fallen on the roof. Secondary disinfection is through chlorine, but it's just used for secondary disinfection and more for a residual because the school has a long, long pipe runs. And then we also have uh, dye injection, which is similar. Uh, we have a 35 gallon tank here that delivers dye, it colors the water, uh, to, again, to differentiate between potable uh, and non-potable water applications. The brains of our system is, uh, is here. It's kind of uh, something that uh, we helped uh, really develop, uh, really worked hard at Highland Tank to develop, and it's our PLC controller. Our PLC controller has, as you can see here, a touchscreen. Uh, so we have access to all the different parts of this system through this touchscreen controller. If I just touch the screen here, I can pull up both of my cistern pumps that are out in the cistern tank. It tells me I have, I'm in automatic mode, which means if I, if I have a call for water, they would just automatically come on and each pump alternates. So we only have one pump on at a time. We also have a low level float uh, in each one of those pumps. So if there's, there's no water available or if there's a clog in the floating suction, now we can see that right through the touchscreen and we can kind of we can kind of understand you know, exactly what's going on. Uh, from a commissioning standpoint, when we actually commission the system, we can literally put this, this system in hand mode and I can turn those pumps on and off for service reasons or just to make sure that they're working properly and that we're getting the proper flow through the system. So it's very, very intuitive uh, being a PLC. We can do various changes if we need to. Uh, to the system. If I go back to the main control panel, I can pull up my day tank, for instance, and it tells me uh, real-time um, continuous level within that day tank. And you can see here that we're 80%, 83% full, uh, which is basically full for that tank. Uh, I'm not in high level, I'm not in low level, and I'm not in city water backup. But it, again, if we were in those conditions, it'll state that uh, distinctly through our touchscreen uh, controller. Calibration mode, if I put, the, put this in calibration mode, uh, and in, in, in this application, we had this, you know, when, once we set all of the settings at the factory, it's a lot different on the, uh, on the site or, or in real time applications. So we were, we were able to do the different settings based on the demand. Uh, these, um, they had a lot of different applications where um, they had uh, a lot of kids flushing toilets at various times during the day. 
Um, so we had to adjust our settings within there, but can be easily be done uh, through the touchscreen controller. Uh, UV disinfection, it tells us, uh, as, it brought, as it's brought back to the PLC, it tells us uh, what the service life is for our UV and for that, for that, uh, that bulb within the system, which is normally for 10,000 hour bulb life. Another portion of our controller is our Ashberry VIP controller. Uh, and this goes hand in hand with our multimedia filter. It gives us a pressure differential and it automatically back flushes that filter uh, when we reach a certain pressure rating within the system. It can also be done on a timed event. Um, I can also look at this, there's a flow meter in here. So it has a lot of functions and a lot, it's, it's very, very, again, intuitive. You can see here, it's a skid mounted system. Uh, the system was all put together at the factory uh, at Highland Tank. Uh, it was all plumbed there. We have a single point electrical connection to our control panel, which makes things a lot easier for the contractor. He just doesn't run any high power wires out to the cistern pumps or any, uh, anything from the, from the boosters. Everything comes into this panel and it gets uh, tapped off of there. All right, here we have a 1,000 gallon uh, above ground vertical uh, a day tank. Uh, the day tank is sized for just that. It's a day's worth of water or a half a day's worth of water. But in this instance, 1,000 gallons a day was, was our typical uh, application. It's a, got an NSF compliant coating on the inside. Uh, at the very top of the tank, we have a, a means for an ultrasonic level sensor, which is our continuous level, which we saw previously uh, on our touchscreen. Uh, we also have redundant floats in here, um, and that's for uh, if we ever lost our capacity on our ultrasonic level sensor, we have a critical low flow and a critical high flow. The critical low flow uh, would actually shut off our booster pump, uh, which is behind me, um, and put us into city makeup water. Our critical high flow would shut off the cistern pumps, which, again, let's just say the ultrasonic level sensor, um, lost power, went haywire or something, uh, you know, something happened uh, within the system, within the, within the process, uh, we have a redundant uh, backup for that, for that application. Our booster pump uh, is a, a variable speed, constant pressure type booster pump. And this application we're designed for 70 gallons a minute at 53 PSI. We have a PLC controller with the VFDs uh, inside of the uh, control panel. Uh, and we also have a touch screen similar to our rainwater controller that kind of tells us exactly uh, what's going on in, this, in, in any of these applications. Um, so it's a, obviously on a lead lag system. Um, if we need both pumps on at the same time, uh, we would see that both pumps would come on uh, if we were flushing you know, numerous amounts of toilets. If we're flushing one or two toilets, uh, obviously it's a lead building, so it's a, they have low flow fixtures. Um, that fixture is going to flush. It's going to take about three or four seconds for the pump to, uh, uh, to, to be able to fill that, that back online. But the, the biggest thing that we want to know here is just the pressure. And you can see uh, we're just, uh, um, uh, we have, just have a bunch of toilets flushing now and our pressure just went down. Our pumps kick on. Uh, we're actually providing water to the fixtures. Uh, the reason why we have such a, uh, a harsh pressure drop in this application is because it's just that one fixture. And as I said, uh, that fixture uh, reacts in so fast, that flush valve reacts in like three seconds. The pump takes a couple seconds for, for it to, uh, to kind of catch up and to fill that, fill that line back up. But uh, as with the rainwater controller, I can go through any of my settings, any of my factory uh, settings can be done through the touch screen. Um, and then if we need to, I can hook up my, my uh, computer to the PLC to be able to uh, work on the PID settings or any function that we have, would have to differentiate here at the facility. So. Um, it's field adjustable. Uh, that's the beauty of most of these, uh, these type booster systems. And you can see now my, my number one pump is my lag pump. So uh, everything is, uh, is working uh, as advertised. And we are providing 70 gallon a minute uh, of flow at, at 53 PSI. That was the, uh, the design application for this facility. And, that's, and that's, what, uh, that's what all of our settings are working at. Rainwater harvesting systems are becoming the key in solving stormwater management issues. Our team of experts will work to provide a turnkey solution for your specific project. Our durable steel storage tanks and cisterns feature performance NSF certified coatings and our filtration skids employ time-tested treatment techniques to provide a reliable source of recycled water. Visit HighlandTank.com to learn more or contact your Highland Tank representative.